If it feels like you are diving deeper into your bank account every day, yet barely managing to fill it back up, it is not your imagination. Consumer price index hit a hit 7.5 percent in January. The highest inflation has been in 40 years. So how can we all deal with this? 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell went to the experts and now brings us an in-depth look at their advice. First it was the pandemic, then supply chain disruptions, then war in Ukraine, and now skyrocketing oil prices. People around Metro Detroit are feeling the impacts of inflation in their lives and working to figure out what to do. Yeah, the price of everything has went through the roof and it don't seem to be stopping. John Lagore is a single dad from Trenton who says he's feeling the stress of increasing prices. It was like $2.99 a pound for a hamburger, and now it's like $6.19 a pound. The other day I went and got gas. It was $3.89. The very next day is $4.39. We just saw 7.5% inflation as of January, which is the highest number in about 40 years. Michael Mazarin is an instructor at the nonprofit Retirement Education Foundation in Livonia. He says times of inflation are challenging because most people will find their wages don't increase enough to keep up with costs. I know my bosses aren't giving me a 7% raise. Most people aren't getting 7% raises. How do you deal with 7% more costs? So this is the challenging piece because the economy is cyclical. There are a couple good years, a couple bad years, a couple good years. These things ebb and flow. So during the good years, it's really important to try to do what you can to build safety nets and prepare for the bad years that are going to come. He showed us how he teaches his clients to budget, have an emergency fund, and then invest in funds that can be accessed in different circumstances. Making sure we understand what we're spending, we're building that emergency fund, and trying to make sure we're not making any drastic changes. Typically, drastic changes during these times are the wrong things to be doing. You know, just a few minutes ago, I was thinking about running to Bar Louis to grab a carryout and decided to go make scrambled eggs instead. So, I'm, you know, I'm thinking more about how I'm spending my money. Paula Sween is a financial planner at the Financial Center for Women. I asked her what people should do if they did not prepare for these tough times. She says the first step is creating a budget. What should people do right now if they feel like they already have a tight budget? When you start to work a budget, you will, you'll see where your spending can be cut. I mean, if you have to get a part-time job in the meantime until things level out, there's no magic answer. If you are hiring, John says he's looking for a new job to help him take on inflation with a starting time after 7.30 in the morning to allow him to care for his son. What kind of work are you looking for? Well, some sort of assembly or something in a factory, specifically something close to home around Trenton and, um, you know, something that'll work with me with my hours. We can all help each other by learning from each other. If you have found an innovative way to help yourself or your family get by and thrive in this shifting economy, we want to hear your story. Reach out to me, Kay Russell at WXYZ.com. Kim Russell, 7 Action News. And we have uh, dedicated an entire section of WXYZ.com to saving you money as inflation soars. You can look for the Smart Saver section. You'll find it on the website. Good deal.